Supercars are the perfect combination of luxury, style, performance, and high speed. But despite their speed and performance, they tend to have a few disadvantages when it comes to reliability, and most importantly, safety. From exploding engines, hazardous design defects, and fatally flawed engineering, there are countless supercars that have a nasty habit of lowering your average life expectancy. So here are the 10 deadliest supercars on Earth. The McLaren Senna McLaren's engineers claim that the Senna is the most direct and responsive car that they've ever built, and it's been crafted precisely to set new benchmarks at the track. Named after storied Brazilian Formula 1 driver Ayrton Senna, this hypercar eats up pavement with blistering speed and focused intensity. The fact that the car's production numbers are very limited suggests that the car's value will, over time, appreciate beyond its million-dollar starting price. Unfortunately, those individuals are sadly mistaken, because the Senna is one of the deadliest supercars on the market. For starters, the car's twin turbocharged 4-liter V8 that generates 789 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque has a habit of failing and exploding at high speeds. The first incident occurred in December of 2018, when car influencer Salamandran Senna caught on fire. Another Senna exploded during the 2019 Austrian Grand Prix. According to internal documents, a portion of the supercar's internal wiring harness can come in contact with the metal pipe heat shield. Over time, this can chafe the harness and expose the wires inside. Depending on which wire is damaged, there could be different results, all of them potentially fatal for the driver. Potential issues include the car suddenly entering limp mode, engine torque failure, engine stalling, engine misfires, and unburnt fuel entering the catalytic converter causing the car to spontaneously catch fire and explode into flames, destroying your million dollar supercar in an instant. The Lamborghini Aventador Lamborghini supercars are incredible when it comes to speed, acceleration, and power, and the Aventador is without a doubt all of that combined into one serious automotive masterpiece. But no supercar is perfect, and the Aventador's fatal flaws are numerous. Like many supercars on this list, the Aventador has a habit of suddenly exploding into flames. When driving with a full tank of gas, the car's effective fuel system caused over 1,400 Aventadors to leak gasoline. As a result, the leaking fuel could come in contact with the car's exhaust system, often causing the the car to spontaneously explode at high speeds. A bouncy suspension is another common issue with many models skipping and jumping while traveling at speeds over 50 miles per hour, causing accidents for unskilled drivers. This coupled with electrical glitches, transmission leaks that cause transmission failure, failing clutches that can often overheat, and a structurally weak carbon fiber monarchy design, the Lamborghini Aventador is arguably one of the deadliest supercars currently in production. The McLaren 600 LT McLaren is known for making cars that are supernaturally quick, and the 600 LT is perfectly equipped to deliver on this promise. Available solely as a convertible, this supercar gets its muscle from a meaty 3.7 liter twin turbo V8 that churns out a remarkable 592 horsepower. With an aerodynamic design and a curb weight of only 3,000 pounds, the 600 LT will rocket you from 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds. Unfortunately, it's no secret that McLaren has acquired a bit of a bad reputation for their cars not being particularly reliable. Reliable, and the 600 LT is particularly problematic. Some of the most common problems include exploding airbags and airbag inflators, sending sharp metal fragments striking the driver and other occupants resulting in serious injury or death, electric failure leaving many with dead car batteries without driving the car for two days, and engine fires occurring at high speeds. Ask anyone who's familiar with the 600 LT and they'll advise you that it's particularly mandatory purchasing an extended warranty if you get your hands on this supercar. The Lamborghini Huracan Got a need for speed and about a quarter million dollars to burn? Well, Lamborghini has you covered with the attention-grabbing, hard-charging Huracan. While it's smaller and more affordable than the aging Aventador and the trendy Urus, the littlest Lambo still costs six figures. And like its older brother, the Aventador, the Huracan is one of the deadliest supercars on the market. In October of 2018, a Huracan owner was revving his 510-horsepower V10 engine as the vehicle sat at the Boston Public Library in historic Copley Square. When out of nowhere, the car exploded into a massive fireball. As the engine over-revved, it generated an astronomical amount of heat, and since there was a leak in the car's airflow, the engine overheated. Eventually, the superheated exhaust caught fire, sending flames 40 feet into the air, leaving onlookers shocked to their core. The Boston Fire Department responded, and it took them over an hour to put out the quarter-million-dollar supercar. All that was left was significant parts of the body and frame. There was no report about the supercar's V10 engine or the rest of the drivetrain, probably due to the fact that it was burned beyond recognition. Although 
although Lamborghini refused to comment on the cause of the fire. Several theories are being circulated on why the car exploded. Some believe the Huracan's catalytic converter overheated and caused the fire, while others suspect that the issue may be related to an earlier recall from Lamborghini, where a defective fuel system caused the car to leak gasoline and explode into flames. Whatever the reason, the Huracan's fire problems still hunt the supercar and its drivers till this very day. The Aston Martin 177 Limited to 77 units worldwide and sporting a carbon monarchy chassis, a 3.7 liter V12 with at least 700 horsepower, and a hand formed aluminum body. The near $2 million 177 is what happens when an automaker builds a car without ever saying no to its engineers. The 177 is a cutting edge racing inspired supercar underneath. It's super high tech, beautifully finished everywhere, and boasts impressive performance figures. Yet the Aston Martin 177 can prove to be deadly. The only problem with it is that it's way too fast. With over 750 horsepower, this stylish supercar is the definition of beast mode. Although this may sound appealing, this supercar is very dangerous. Coupled with the car's lightweight, trying to control that amount of power on regular roads is nearly impossible, increasing the chances of a fatal accident by 10,000%. The Dodge Viper the Viper has a history of besting even some of the most skilled drivers. Mechanical issues, including brake problems and tricky handling, once regulated the Viper to the position of a supercar that you'd be crazy to get. The Big Bad Bully has a two-way 10-click adjustable competition coil over bolstering shocks and greatly increased spring rates, helping its performance on the track. Oh yeah, it's also naturally aspirated and has an 8.4 liter V10 that pumps out 645 horsepower, if you can handle it. The Lamborghini Countach Many people dream of sliding behind the wheel of a Lamborghini, but those who own a Countach need to be careful. This vehicle has an ultra-low profile that makes it hard to see vehicles that are right next to you, increasing your blind spots by 10,000%. Also, the controls are heavy, so you'll need to pay attention to every action you take in this high-powered exotic sports car. Once you get used to it though, you can expect an unrivaled driving experience. The Porsche 911R it's not as flashy as a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, but don't let that deceive you. This 500 horsepower supercar is as wild as it gets. With an exhaust note to kill and almost no sound deadening to protect your ears from outside elements, the journey to the 911's 8500 rev limiter is a living, breathing climax of buzzes and harmonics that you won't soon forget. Its 4 liter engine pairs with a 6 speed manual gearbox, with no automatic transmission in sight, and has a top speed of 200 miles per hour, making it one of the most difficult cars to drive. The Mercedes-Benz SL Series Introduced in 2001, the Mercedes SL Roadster was the epitome of a German GT car. It was powered by various V6s, several V8 engines, and a 5.5 liter V12 in the SL600 version. The car also looks great and has the performance to match, and to top it all off, it's even well built. Well, sort of. In the SLS model, the car's gullwing doors have a 95% probability of sending you to an early grave. Safety is the biggest issue with the car's gullwing door design. In a rollover crash, getting the gullwing doors to open could be a little rough, or most likely impossible. Mercedes designed the doors on the SLS with explosive bolts that will fire the door off its hinges if the car is upside down, but no solution is quite as elegant as just not having going doors. The Porsche 911 after 51 legendary years in production, the Porsche 911 is considered to be one of the greatest sports cars in the world. But to paraphrase the old cliché, Porsche took a bad idea and refined it to brilliance. Not only is the 911's engine in the back of the car, it's so far behind the rear axle that even the slightest miscalculation can cause dangerous oversteer, sending you hurtling backwards into oncoming traffic. Porsche engineers first tried to solve the car's weight imbalance by putting iron weights in the front bumpers of early cars. By the early 70s, the 911's iconic whale tail spoiler and front air dam did wonders to keep the car planted to the ground. Today, a fantastic all-wheel drive system and traction control have ironed out most of the modern 911's homicidal urges. But while the older cars are definitely good looking, they are undeniably dangerous as well. The Ferrari 458 Italia one of the longest running stereotypes in the automotive world is that Italian supercars always catch on fire. While that may be an exaggeration that has dogged the builders of dream cars for decades, the Ferrari 458 Italia did actually have a penchant for spontaneously catching on fire, more than just about any other car in the world at the time. In 2012, Ferrari recalled over 12,000 cars because an adhesive used to hold the car's inner fenders in place turned out to be highly flammable and was placed way too close to the exhaust. The fix was simple 
simple. The inner fenders were riveted on, but the damage was done. Three years after the recall, jokes about flaming Ferraris have only gotten worse. The DeLorean DMC-12 I'm pretty sure you're wondering, why is this car on this list? It's old as hell and definitely isn't that relevant, besides the fact that it was the Back to the Future car. The DeLorean DMC-12 may have earned its place as one of the most iconic sports cars of the 1980s, but the car was also very unreliable, often breaking down before 10,000 miles, and it was also extremely unsafe. When John DeLorean left General Motors in the early 1970s to build a safety sports car, we hoped that the DeLorean wasn't what he had in mind. Stainless steel body panels melted to a fiberglass frame didn't do the car any favors in crash tests. After a 50 mile per hour impact, the car looked like a crushed can. The car's famous gold wing doors didn't help either. In addition, having the doors hinged at the roof and opening vertically posed for a very dangerous situation in the case that passengers needed to escape after a crash. Due to the terribly built structure of the car, production only lasted two years. The Acura NSX the NXX is billed as an everyday supercar, but it throws some unexpected curveballs that suggest otherwise. This turbocharged sports car acts like it's naturally aspirated, and its three-motor V6 plug-in hybrid system produces an impressive 573 horsepower. But most suffer from numb steering unless you drive it in track mode, which makes the vehicle everything but an everyday sports car. Instead, it can get loud and unruly, making it one of the most difficult cars in human history. The Chevy Corvette the Corvette has always been the gold standard among American supercars. It has the winning combination of great looks, brutal power, and world-class handling. For people shopping for an affordable mid-engine supercar, the Corvette is a tempting choice. With 400 plus horsepower, a sleek body, and superb performance, some would dare call it the perfect all-American supercar. Or perhaps not. The problem with the Corvette is its defective power steering hose. This defective hose would not only result in power steering failure, but it could also result in the loss of power brake assist, causing increased braking effort or total brake failure. Not to mention the leaking fluid from the car's defective hose could also spray fluid onto the Corvette's burning hot V8 engine, resulting in an engine fire and fatal explosion. Well guys, those are the 10 deadliest supercars on earth. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You can also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.